Hello. Lightspeed English, podcast número uno para estudiantes de inglés de nivel avanzado. Oh. Estamos con Gordon y vamos a hablar en este podcast de la comida y la cultura eh, inglesa y de la percepción que tiene Gordon de la cultura española, de la comida española y mi percepción de la cultura inglesa y la comida inglesa. Vale, mm. empecemos. Hello, Gordon. How are you today? Hello, Cynthia. I'm very well. Are you okay? You're always very well. Constantly. Very well is like the, the bottom for you. You're very well, yeah, very yeah. Well. Up to fantastic yeah. to super, superb, yeah. One day you even had really, 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 really well. Yeah. Why that's, not? That's excellent. Why not? Why not, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we're talking about... And I'm fine as well. Oh, I beg your pardon. You are fine. I know you're excellent. I asked come you. On. I asked you. I said, how <laughs> I are you? I to answer. Okay. Right. You're fine, yeah? Yes, Good. thank you. Okay. Okay, Gordon. So, um, you know what we think about in, well, in Spain mainly, or maybe everywhere else in the world. Um, what think we think so. about <laughs> English food. Yeah. What do you think the perception is from everywhere else, except from England, about the English food? Okay. I know that we have a reputation for having bad food. Okay. Okay. Um, I know that people think that we don't eat very well here and that we eat um, boring, bland, horrible food. Okay. I've, I've heard this. I remember when I went to Spain and everybody wanted to give me food and they were saying try this food you like it because I know <laughs> you don't eat very well in the UK it's like his English oh bless oh let's get some what food down you <laughs> yeah what a shame what a we'll shame. have to give him something <laughs> some real food <laughs> Okay. A lifetime of English food. So I understand. <laughs> I understand the perception. Mm -hmm. Before we go into reality, what do you think the perception of people outside of Spain about Spanish food? I think the perception now that I live here is very clear that they think we eat just tapas mainly, <laughs> just tapas, tapas, oh, tapas, 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 uh -huh. and paella every single day of the week. And I think very few people know any other dishes from Spain apart from tortilla and paella. They say paella instead of paella. Uh -huh. And chorizo. Chorizo. Honestly, that drives me mad. Chorizo. Okay. Chorizo. Okay. Uh, so the, the perception is limited. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One it's of a holiday the, perception. It's a holiday perception, yeah. of course. And and I think, I, mean, I can only speak for, for people from Spain because mm -hmm. that's the interaction that I've had. What I'm aware of is that although lots of Spanish people have been to the UK, uh -huh. they have been to London. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, and I think it's important for everybody to know that London is not representative of the UK. I've got to say something though about mm -hmm. that. It doesn't matter where you go; they think you're in London. I mean, That's I couldn't true. I couldn't be further away from London, really, because we are like we're in the north. Yeah. And people say, "How's London?" And I'm like, "I'm not no way. I'm nowhere near London." But I just go, "Yeah, London's lovely," because After I've said while, that so yeah. many times. I don't live in London. I live near Newcastle. Because um, it's just London and, and the rest. <laughs> the well, so England London. is so small; it is only London. Yeah. I've got to say, well, London is big. Yeah. But not that but big. Not that big. No. <laughs> so I think that the perception that Spanish people have of England, there are two things of Britain. One is, is is what people say in Spain, uh -huh. which is the food is no good in, in yes. England. Yeah. But also when people come here and they spend. A few days in in London, they are going to eat really badly. Yeah. If they look for fast food, it's all in London. It's fast food. It's cheap food, or yeah. it's so. Really, to understand British food, you have to live here and live the culture. You know, experience the culture. Um, what now after 
after 10 years of living in the UK, what is your perception of UK food now? Um, well, right, well, it's changed, obviously. When, when I first came over, well, I had the impression that it was going to be dull, uh, bland food, you know, just what you said, really, because uh -huh. that, when I said I was going to come over, people said to me, oh, you're going to lose weight, or oh, because lots of people have lost weight before, mm -hmm. when they go to England, you lose weight, because <laughs> the, you eat so badly. And of course you can lose weight, if you, and you can eat badly, because there's lots of really bad food. Mm -hmm. I mean, fish and chips, I don't think it's particularly healthy food. Well, it's not the worst, but no. there's a lot of, um, lots of pies. Fat. Pie, everything is pie. Pie, pie, pie for pudding. Pie for with mince. Pie with mince is also pudding. Mince could be <laughs> mince, tart. mince. Yeah, it could be mince as in um, meat, meat or mince as in fruit. So it's. Uh. Um, but then I discover the real food once you pass all of the uh, pies and sure. fish and chips. Sure. You've got really nice food. I mean, I love, love Sunday dinners, even though we're vegetarians, but Sunday dinners are just like divine. Um, or fish pies or things like that. Oh my God, they're really nice. Sure, sure. Um, so what the difference I think um, that I see, speaking of the difference between Spain mm -hmm. and England, is that in Spain, I know I could talk to nearly anybody and they would, tell me about the food from each region and which yes. is the speciality oh, yes. and where you can find the best ham and Absolutely. where you can find the best seafood and the best prawns. In the UK we don't have that perception. We don't have areas that are food specific. We have some things like we know haggis comes from Scotland, we have the pudding from Yorkshire. And then uh, in Middlesbrough there's something as well they do with chicken. Oh, ah, yeah. But it, uh -huh. it's very small. So really, we have one food for the whole country. We don't have special areas. Um, we do, but we don't talk about it. In Spain, that's all you talk about. But there's also this joke that I've heard sometimes that people say, oh, I love um, English food, um, Chinese and Indian. <laughs> Absolutely. The other, the other side of the UK is that because um, the Great Britain, the United Kingdom, has been to a lot of countries around the world. We have taken back their influence. So, so we have. It's very normal for us to have Chinese food, Indian food, Indian Thai food. food. <gasps> Is curries are divine? They're really nice. But yeah, the, the, um, try curries when you come here. Very yeah, very special. They don't have to be spicy hot. You can have very tasty curry that's not spicy. Um, and we have, you know, Japanese um, restaurants. We have Thai restaurants. We have uh, Italian restaurants. Any kind of restaurant from all over the world. We have no problem eating other people's food. Um, I get the sense in Spain that that willingness to eat other foods isn't so much there. No, I disagree. No. We've got kebabs, we've got Italian restaurants, we've got Chinese restaurants, Japanese restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, in Madrid, if you go to Madrid, you've got um, Indian restaurants as well. True. They're not that popular as they are in here, but it's not part of the culture as it is in here because India sure. is part of the culture. Yeah. So we've got we've got um, Argentinian restaurants with mm -hmm. lots of meat. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've got what, what I suppose my, my point the point I was making it was in the UK we are food is not we're not going to food is not the most important thing for us I right, don't no. I don't feel in Spain I get the sense that food is up there with yes. oxygen yeah yeah and and so <laughs> and so you pride yourself in your home cooked food yeah you're very very mm -hmm. proud of it Whereas we pride ourselves in our range of food that we can have. That's important for us. Oh, I thought it was in alcohol consumption. We also pride <laughs> ourselves in the amount of alcohol that we can consume in one go. <laughs> what one Spanish person drinks in a week, we can drink in one night. We don't have time now because it's uh, time's up. 
But I'd like to talk about that as well, about alcohol, alcohol? Yeah. and about the cult- a bit more about the culture, because we haven't okay. had time to talk about it. We can it, continue so in the next let's one. Let's do, yeah, podcast number two. Okay. Okay, so we go have fun. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.